This is East Coast ASMR, and tonight I'm going to be reading some amazing facts about our universe um, while sucking on a cough drop. So, I hope you enjoy. If the sun stopped shining suddenly, it would take eight minutes for people on Earth to be aware of this fact. This is because the sunlight takes about eight minutes to reach Earth. Our universe contains, our universe consists of more than a hundred billion galaxies, and each galaxy, on average, contains more than a hundred billion stars, which accounts for more than ten billion trillion stars, i.e., one followed by. The Earth is rotating on its axis at a rate of 0.5 km per, per second at the equator, and is orbiting the Sun at a rate of about 30 km per second. The Sun is orbiting the center of the Milky Way at a rate of about 220 km per second. Even on the clearest night, the human eye can only see about 3,000 stars. There, there are an estimated 100 billion stars in our galaxy alone. It's estimated that the number of stars in the universe is greater than the number of the grains of sand, the number of grains of sand on all the beaches in the world. Clear night, we can see the equivalent of a handful of sand. Mars holds the highest peak in the solar system, named Olympus Mons, with a height of around 80,000 feet, 2,400 meters, which is more than 2.5 times the height of Mount Everest. The sun, when it becomes a red giant in about 5 billion years, will expand to the size that it will engulf the orbit of Venus. Wait a minute. Who wrote this? <laughs> the sun, when it becomes a red giant, which will be in about 5 billion years, will expand to a size that will engulf the orbit of Venus. There are approximately 10,000 pieces of equipment revolving around the Earth. About 3,000 of these pieces are satellites. The, rest's, the rest are odd bits of debris. A huge asteroid slammed into Earth 65 million years ago. The ensuing ensuing, I can't read, the ensuing global climactic catastrophe left 70% of all the world's species extinct, including the ferocious dinosaurs. I'm sure everyone knew that. One million Earths can fit into the sun, 1,300 Earths can be fit into Jupiter, 800 Earths can be fit into Saturn. The moon is moving away from Earth at a rate of 3 centimeters per year. 99% of our solar system's mass is concentrated in the sun. The star Betelgeuse, a bright star in the constellation of Orion, is estimated to have a diameter of around 700 million miles. If it was placed at the center of our solar system, it would extend beyond the orbit of Jupiter, engulfing Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. The asteroid Apophis will come close enough to Earth to dip below our communication satellites 
on the 13th of April 2029. It will then return on the 13th of April 2036. NASA ruled out the possibility of the asteroid Apophis hitting the Earth on the 13th of April 2036 because the chances of the asteroid hitting the Earth is calculated to be 1 in 45,000. How would they rule that out then if there's still a chance? <laughs> Whatever. The moon actually has mirrors on it. They were left there by astronauts who wanted to bounce laser beams off them so that the distance to the moon can be measured. I guess that's how they found out it was going away at 3 centimeters per year. For 186 days, you cannot see the sun in the North Pole. In Spitbergen, Norway, at one time of the year, the sun shines continuously for three and a half months. Jupiter is heavier than all the other planets put together. If you could travel at the speed of light, 186,000 miles per second, it would still take 100,000 years to cross our galaxy. Venus is the brightest object in the night sky, next only to the moon. Scientists believe that hydrogen compromises approximately 90 to 99 percent of all matter in the universe. Our sun and the surrounding planets orbit around the center of the Milky Way galaxy once every 250 million years. About 25 percent of the universe consists of dark matter and about 70 percent consists of dark energy, leaving only about 5 percent of the universe visible to us. The matter in the universe is so thinly dispersed that the universe can be compared with a building 20 miles long, 20 miles wide, and 20 miles high, only containing a single grain of sand. Wow, that's kind of astonishing. Approximately 40,000 tons of meteoric dust hits the Earth each year. The planets Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn are visible to the naked eye. Actually, this is on the, this is on the website, but the other night I actually went outside and took binoculars and looked at Jupiter, and um, you can see its moons, not with the naked eye, but you can see its moons with a binocular. It's pretty neat. Anyway, our Milky Way galaxy and our closest neighbor, the Andromeda galaxy, are on a collision course. In about three billion years, the two galaxies will collide with each other. NASA announces that water ice has been discovered near the landing site of the Phoenix Mars lander on the planet of Mars. Our Milky Way galaxy is a million light years across and 20,000 light years thick at its center. Proxima Centauri is the closest star to us, next only to the Sun. It is at a distance of 4.24 light years. Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system. last fact that's on this page is Sirius is the brightest star in the night sky. Let's see if there's any other 
facts or anything on this page. Anyway, let's see. Hmm. Guess not. But still, I guess that was some facts, so. relaxing and perhaps informative if you could bear through my horrible reading skills as I trip over many of these words and hopefully I will see you guys soon okay good night